All right, everyone, MP Blaze here with War Number Two, and New Nation is facing Apaco. We haven't faced Apaco in the four seasons that I've been here, even the season where Apaco placed second and we placed first. So we've been looking forward to this matchup. Uh, the global for BG1 is Protect, and this is an unusual war for me because I will not bring in, be bringing Quick, and I am not boss rushing. So um, today I'm going to have Captain Marvel, uh, Mr. Fantastic, and Fury. And what you will see is Fury is duped. That was recent from the spring cleaning event. Um, he is only rank one. Today I was assigned path nine in both sections, and we'll take section one before the boss goes down, and then section two after the boss goes down. Um, only one fight of the four fights I have is a protect champion. First two fights here, I'm just gonna one hour boost, take them, and then I'll one hour boost again, take the second two fights. The only reason I brought Captain Marvel for both all four of these fights actually is just because of the Arcus on the second note of this path, but we're gonna go ahead and use her for all four fights just because she benefits from hazard shift in section one, and then she benefits from the two other champs in section two, as far as getting into binary real quick. So this first fight is stealthy. You only worry about the evade. Once you get his evade out, then you can play normal and go ham. Um, you want to build a few incinerates on you, nothing too crazy, to immediately get into binary and get that indestructible charge. And then it's just, just wreck him. And you'll see this fight does not last long at all. It actually felt like an arena fight for me. I proc the evade really early here. Beta heavy. He evaded, so one swing, immediately blocked. Bait another heavy. Go in a couple hits so that we get some incinerates. Intercepted him parried and then it's just binary intercept him off the wall and he's done so the fight took 20 seconds so it wasn't a big deal we are going to heal a little bit just because we're going to heal the full for this arcus even though it is a rank two rank three would be a little bit longer of a fight but even still this was a very very quick fight also we're at 24 charges so we're going to enter binary very very fast um what you want to do here is not throw SP1 or SP2 because they are affected by the resistor buff on the node. You're going to want to throw just SP3. Um, and she just, with how, how high I boost, or how hard I boosted, which is normal for a first time experience in a war when it comes to uh, fights for me. Um, she just, it was just a joke. So we're already in binary. She starts with some some power because of the binary or because of her persistent charges. We're just wailing on him. He's almost at 50%. We're at SP3. As soon as we got it, we dropped it. So 49%. The SP3 kind of ignores the resistance of the node. And let's see with the SP3, we finished him. So it wasn't a hard fight. I was kind of worried about it because I'd never done it before. Maybe we won't boost as much next time. Um, but that was that. Now we did bring Mr. Fantastic so that we could place, place two Petrifies, one on this Mojo, which is a big deal. Uh, it'll help with the power gain from Power Snack and his subscribers. So very important, place the power or place the Petrify without any issues. And then another one later on Modoc. Here we are, path two. So this is after the boss, or path nine, section two. This is after the boss has gone down. And I'm just gonna be safe and make sure that I don't give up any deaths here and boost the same amount I did in section one, just cause I have the boosts. Um, this is a rank five guardian, so nothing too crazy to worry about here. And his attacks are energy based. So it's gonna put her, if she's not already at binary, really quickly into binary. Um, I think we are at pretty close. Yeah, 22. So only three more blocked hits and we're going into binary. Because he can auto block, even though uh, Captain Marvel does armor break, but because he can armor block, or because he can auto block specials, I'm going to stick with SP3. Um, and we can't stun this node, so the name of the game is just don't parry, fade out heavies, block all of SP1. And he just he just goes down nice and easy. So clearly over boosted, just to be safe, never done it before. The next one is a Terax, and he's not duped. It actually would have helped at the start of the fight if he was, because his rock field is energy-based, and it would have built her binary. So she's at 18 now. She would have hit binary as, pretty much as soon as the fight started, and this fight would have been over a lot faster 
but we're talking seconds. So we take block hits instead to reach binary. Intercepted him there. We were hoping to beta heavy. Intercepted him again. Finally throws a heavy. Go at him. Now I kind of want to get him to throw SP1. He's not having it. I'm in binary. Parry him there because the window of opportunity is down. So I can stun. Finally throws SP1. And then we're going to town. As soon as we get SP3, we're throwing it. Another situation where the enemy is about 50% with their SP3. This is a rank two Terax. So again, a rank three is gonna probably take a bit longer, but you'll see here, boop, he's dead. So it was a good first war ever using C uh, Captain Marvel. She's usually on defense for me and has been the last four seasons. Um, and then I'm gonna place this Petrify on this Modoc due to power of full from afar. He also has an ability accuracy increase over time. So it just helps when we quake it and get it to the corner. So RBG died once, which was unfortunate. I was hoping for that other donut, but as an Alliance, we ended up losing to a Paco six to three. Um, it was pretty disappointing. There were a lot of stupid moves in the war going through the, through the war. We were actually at a disadvantage pretty early. Um, and they, they were just solid after they died twice in the first 28 fights. They just wouldn't die again until the near end. Um, and I actually woke up to them clearing the map with three deaths. So disappointing loss, but I'm going to shake it off. We're still, we can still probably compete for top three. Um, we just got to clean it up. Our deaths have, are not normally this high. Um, and it's, it's, we just got to be a bit more consistent, but Thanks for stopping by. Hit subscribe and follow me on Twitter to keep an eye out for the next one. Um, I do have a Tigra video or a Tigra video video here at the end. All right, so Tigra here in the off season at rank two, I tried to take a Hyperion on Rage Mini um, just because she benefits with that neutralize. He didn't have suicides, thankfully, so I got to get kind of a real experience. Um, goal here. Prior to realizing I should probably just combo to get them to the wall was parry heavy to the wall. And when he throws SP1, block the hit, but immediately start charging for the heavy or for the laser. So you'll see here it's pretty simple that if you see the swing coming to block, and that keeps you close enough to retaliate immediately with the heavy. Throw SP1 when you have it. And you'll see I get punished right here because it was a little too far. I dashed out instead of blocked the hit, but I recover nicely. Luckily he threw the SP1 and we're back in this little rotation. Now our second SP1 to bring up the second sense. And now we're bullying him against the wall because he was below a bar of power. I'm gonna bully him against, well, no, now we're at SP2, throwing SP2 for the big damage. And most of our damage is secondary when those ruptures place. Going back to bullying with the heavy, resisted, here we are with SP2, and that ends it. So, kind of rocky with that spacing with the heavy retaliate um, after an SB1 for one of the SB1s, but it was pretty smooth all around. So, still, still practicing to get comfortable. Um, it's a pretty good option because with Protect, Void, and maybe Dragon Man are the only two that come to mind right off the back um, that don't trigger, that either don't trigger protect or manage protect, but at the same time manage the power gain. So 